Hey folks, it's Bobo the Vulture, and sharp-eyed viewers may notice that uh, we are not in the same place that we were last time. I've backtracked all the way back to the Hayabusa carpet mill. Um, because I hadn't actually intended to, but let's see what she says here. I need to get to Hyper Garland. I hope I'm not too late for the concert. Connie. No. No presents for Connie. Don't do it. Let's see whether this guy is actually grateful now that I've uh, helped him out. <laughs> Just not efficient enough. At this rate, it'll take even longer to weave a single carpet. They use machines to do this overseas. I thought my research would be enough, but this isn't working. <sighs> yeah, you're welcome, jackass. Well then, I guess I'll just go about the order of business that I came here for. After I eat something. I did, uh, you know, just to save you the walk back. It's still the same day, as you can see, it's still Thursday night. Thursday night thunder! But, um, on the way back I did pick up some items. Picked up some Gouda cheese. And of course, I still have chicken jerky. But here, I'll eat a piece of Gouda cheese. Now I'm only snacking. I can run around while snacking. Look at me go! Woo! Wee! Fast! Do, 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 do. Check me out. I am moving faster now. Check me out. I am so fast. But yes, I need to go back to the Killer Elephant's hideout. But no, I was, uh... Alright, I confess, folks, I was checking a fact. I wasn't, I swear, trying to check a fact about, uh, plot things. I was actually just trying to check a fact to make sure that, uh... I made pieces the same way I thought I did. Yo, come on in. Hey, man. Sure thing. But, uh, and when I say make things the way I thought, I mean, like, the creating Trotmobile parts and stuff. And, uh, I found out that, uh, the one place in the world, at least as far as I can tell, that you can buy what is my favorite piece of weaponry is here, the Killer Elephant's Hideout. And I didn't bother to try and check to see whether or not you could get it after I left. That was me being, uh, less than, uh, smart and efficient. So let's come on down here. Talk to the requisitions officer. Hey, hey, it's the tough guy. Pretty brave taking on the boss. So what'll it be? I want to buy frames. Yes, the ball and chain. Very awesome. Bought a ball and chain. It's a powerful mid range weapon. This chain steel ball extends to crush the target. I've got balls of steel. That is a pretty tough shield. It is developed by the killer elephants. Now, as you'll recall, of course, the uh, Killer Elephants, let's see here, a yeah, windshield developed by the Killer Elephants. Um, does it do anything? Yeah, I guess not. Horse legs. This frame is ideal for long trips, but has some difficulty moving from side to side. I'm okay at moving from side to side. But it does have a good uh, weight limit on it, doesn't it? I'm just going to stick with the ball and chain arm for right now. See you again. Wait, can I equip that here? Uh, no, I cannot. I can just buy the frames. But now I know where to come back if I want horse legs. So, there you go. But yes, I think I'm going to replace my normal arm with a ball and chain. So then I will have a ranged attack weapon and a uh, 
melee attack weapon. What I might actually do is swap them around so that my melee attack weapon is my right hand, my dominant hand. But I might not. I don't know. I don't think it really matters, it's just which one I feel like I would be more ready to press. <clears throat> so yeah, folks, that was one of the things I wanted to do. And, uh, you know, honestly, and uh, I'm not trying to, like, whine about it, but I might have been a little bit better equipped to try and fight that deadly guy if I had a weapon like the ball and chain. But it's alright, apparently I didn't need to beat Dudley anyway. I'm pretty sure that just about everybody that you have to duel in, like, a plot duel in this game ends up being somebody that you can fight later in the arena. So, just for your own honor's sake, you can actually say, Oh, well, now I've beaten him a hundred times, even though I couldn't beat him the first time. You can do that. You don't have to. No. Granny's not in here cooking no more. They are probably all asleep because it's nighttime. I don't mind running around here at night. I wear my sunglasses at night. Actually, I don't. Do I have my goggles? I should be wearing my goggles. Time for more pretty princess dress me up. Item. Put on goggles. Now I look like an automocar pilot of the desert. Even though I'm not, Trotmobiles are entirely different from Automocars. Now if I wanted to, I could talk to the Hayabusa carpet guy there. But, uh, and see if I can get some carpets to uh, ferry around, but I'm not going to do that. Let's replace our frames. Let's replace our... Let's replace our right arm frame. No, let's replace our left arm frame with a ball and chain. ka -ching. And now let's replace our right arm frame with a sword arm. Now I'm too heavy. Crud! My Trotmobile now weighs too much for my legs. I'm gonna have to buy new legs. Please choose a new frame which can sustain your weight. Total weight is body plus leg weight. Okay. Cancel. Alright. Well then. Let's go ahead and take off the sword arm temporarily and replace it with a normal arm. That gets us back under the, uh weight limit. Now we have to buy new frames. Nuts to this. What I could do is... It's a bit silly. But I could buy a normal body. Yeah, I got enough money to do this. But I already have one. Oh no, I don't already have one. And I could buy one of these. And then... I could replace frames. Go to the body frames. Select normal body small. Yes. I know. And then for my left arm, which I now have as a ball and chain, I can make it the scrap arm. I know this is all looking very strange. Yes, that's cool. Let's develop a frame. Yes, let us develop a big, big frame. Once we combine these frames, they cannot be separated. That's okay! I have a big, big frame for a big, big body. I hope that my, uh... Body L. Yes, look at my new weight limit. It's weight-tastic. Now my right arm frame can be a sword arm. 
without any worries. And my left arm frame can be a ball and chain. Now I'm a badass. Bad ass. And I'm friggin' huge. Look, I have a lot more hit points. Actually, I'm sorry, buddy. Yo, what's up? I gotta repair and refuel. This will cost more money from now on. Wow, a whole lot more money. That's okay, folks. Now I am large and in charge. I have a giant, huge, big, fat trot mobile. And these guys at Egret Book Brook Midstream are not going to know what hit them. But it's going to be balls of steel. Or maybe they're not going to come back because I beat them up on my way in. That's very likely. Man, I got my new ball and chain weapon, and I've uh, gotten my new heavy body. I suppose I could have sold back that lightweight body, but uh, why bother, you know? This body is so totally tough. My body's just so totally tough. But yes, now that I'm back here by Nefroberg, I might as well see what's going on. Take in some of the local color, you know. In other words, there are plot events. Minor subplot events that... Enter Nefroberg, yes. That might have just advanced, and I would like to check it out. You understand, right? I probably won't end up following all the subplots of this game, game just because you can completely pass them by and not notice, so it's a bit difficult. It's difficult. Alright, first let's go to... Let's park at Fashion Ronde. Park the Trothmobile. There's a sandwich. Uh, there's a bakery over here. Hey. A plot point I was expecting did not actually happen. Well, that sucks. We'll find that. Alright, you know what? Doesn't even matter. I am itching for a... Alright, yeah, take a shower, why don't you? Hey, Lady in Black. Who's dancing with me? A cheek to cheek. Oh, the other thing that is uh, kind of important here. While I'm in town, I did find out where uh, Dino's room is. For some reason, Dino has a room down here. In the den of iniquity. Let's go in. Yes, let's use the key to Dino's room and enter Dino's room. Hello, hello, I've been waiting for you. I believe it, Dino. Perfect timing. I was just checking the film. It's about gladiators, isn't was, it? Isn't it a masterpiece? Greco-Roman wrestling. Oh, the clashing. Oh, the sweating. Oh, sure enough. Ecstasy. <sighs> Sorry, I just got a little caught up. <laughs> I believe you. This is Sparta. Let's meet at the arena next time. I've just had so much fun. Toodles. I'm not controlling him right now. He he had to take that uh, that moment to compose himself by himself. Film reel number one. Uh, can I at least shower? No. no. Alright. Let's get out of here before anything else happens to us. Actually, let's go over to the arena. 
I am itching to try out this ball and chain. I will try it out on unsuspecting suckas. Yeah, let's go in, buddy. Rains are located throughout the country. In these venues, trot riders place their lives on the line for wealth and glory. But you knew that already. Welcome. Welcome. You've got battle. Good. Transport my trot mobile to the arena's garage. Chop chop. Toot sweet. I can take on Bomberhead Chucky, Forbidden Fruit Isabel, the Burning Firefighter Rudy. Let's uh let's just go up the order. Bomberhead Chucky first. Look at that thing, it's huge, man. I don't actually need to do anything with it. Sorry. Keep doing that. Yes, I'm ready. Let's fight Chucky. He is rank D. He is rider Chucky Bomberhead, and his trap mobile is Bomber Boy. Are we still the Dapper Terrorist or whatever? Not the Dapper Terrorist, the uh, Snobbish Terrorist. Chucky! Yeah, Chucky. Woo, Bumble Boy. No, now we're the Chatty Clock. Damage. I, won. I did win. Vanilla, the chatty clock, just can't be beat. Well, okay. So, Bomber Boy, not necessarily the best indicator of whether or not I'm much better now. But I do get a medal for him. Yes, I would like to enter again. This time, let's enter the Forbidden Fruit of Isabel. Oh, wow. Actually, wait a minute. I didn't... I totally didn't realize I forgot that there's an entry fee and that I'm actually chewing up my money by doing this. Money of which I have very little left. Yes, let's go ahead and fight Isabel anyway. What else am I going to use the money for? I can always get some more money by busting up suckers. That's right, I said I was going to bust up suckers. What you going to do about it? Trotmobile is dancing. Pixie! Oh wait, it's dancing quick. Kick some ass, Isabel! We are. Yahoo! Interesting. I remember this weapon being better than this. Oh well. Yeah, I can hide behind cover here and take her out. Excellent. Yes. I love it. Doesn't matter how defensively she's fighting, she will still go down in the end.
There. You get one little bit of melee fighting at the end. I won! T. Earl Grey. Two. Vanilla won, folks. Vanilla always wins. Except when it's important to the plot that Vanilla win. Then Vanilla tends to lose. Nope, I got no more money to enter again. Or I should say, yes, I would love to enter again. But I can't do it. That ball and chain arm is pretty cool, but... Oh, and sure enough, here he is. <laughs> oh, hi, Vanilla. How are things with you today? And he giggles whenever he sees us now, because uh, he loves us so much. Let's board the trap mobile. Two things I would like to do while in town here still. Well, maybe three things. I know, I know. I am sticking around in Nefroburg for an awfully long time when I could be going off and seeing the world. Seeing this desert, anyways. This desert that I promised like two videos ago and probably won't get to in this video now. I'm gonna go over to Vladimir Real Estate. Hey, that person is like parked underneath my uh, carriage there. Yes, let me to the friggin' real estate station. Real estate station? How about the real estate office? Maybe that? Maybe? Real estate. Here's where we do this little dance. Spin around, then spin around again, and spin. Oh no, then we wait at a traffic signal. Yes, let's park the old trot. I do have a bicycle there, I could use right around, but uh... Hey, you're just the man I wanted to see! I came here to become an artist. I hope that one day my pictures might touch people's hearts. Would you like to buy a painting? Sure. I'd love to buy a painting, but both of your paintings are too expensive. I will give you another chance. Don't you worry, my friend. I need to make more money. Hey, Vlad, buddy! Thanks a lot for your help the other day. Thanks for coming. Unfortunately, we don't have any rooms available. I'm sure something will open up the next time you visit. Please understand. Found you at last, Vladimir. Yikes! It's time to find out just what you know. How much do you know about the Trotmobile? Tell me! Hey, back off! Hey, you're the kid who lied to me. You'll stay out of this if you know what's good for you. Tell me everything you know. I don't... I, I don't know anything, just that there was a Trotmobile with a giant c cannon. Hold it, what's going on here? Reds. We won't forget this, Vladimir. I have a funny feeling about that guy. I'm glad you're safe. We received a call from your wife. If he causes you any more trouble, please contact us immediately. Oh, Sugar Plum, oh, you are all right. I'm fine, dear. Thank you. You ran away before anything serious could happen. I would like to thank you, though. Unfortunately, this is all I can spare. Please, you can choose anything. Huh. He gets stock in uh, Siberian Musk Hotel, or stock in the Nefro in Nefroburg Transport. Now you've already thanked me. I'm thinking these stocks will be worth more than 140 UR in cash. So I will take one of these right now. Nefroberg Transport Stocks. One bit of advice. There is a Trotmobile rider in town who wants to 
considered the greatest gladiator of all time. I've seen this legendary rider sitting in a passage underneath the railroad. If you want to become great rider, you might want to seek him out. Hey, that is good advice. Hey there, Vladimir's wife. I'm sorry, worried woman. I'm relieved my husband is home, but now I'm kind of worried he's in some kind of trouble. You should be worried, honey. He is in trouble. So all these posters of things here, they're all homes that you don't have available for sale. Oh well, I should be relieved that you're open at this hour. Now <sighs> oh, yes, I could have taken the 140 you are and um, gotten Vladimir, or and gotten uh, the uh, stuff from Pablo, the pictures from Pablo. I'll have to come back and figure that out later. Let's go to the Sabia Desert exit. We'll head back to the Sabia Desert, folks. On the way, we can beat up some trot mobiles, or those like weird spinny thingies, and get some money. So we'll be able to repair our trot mobile. Yep, it's become a desolate mound of dust thanks to logging. Ruthless trot riders, they have no Ruth. Anybody over here want a ride? Nope, nobody over here wants a ride. Chunk, 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 chunk. So I do find it kind of interesting. This is something that is maybe a little bit less like Armored Core. Oh, that's right. I blew all these guys up earlier, so they're no longer here for me to worry about. Whee! But yeah, an armored core, if you bought a heavier core and heavier arm parts and stuff like that, you would need to upgrade your legs. And this... I guess it's the combined weight limit of your body and legs together that supports your arm and back and grill pieces. So, what do you know? Alright folks, Fort Raven, get to the desert. I wonder if now that I'm here I could challenge Dudley again. See whether or not I'd be better off this time. Oh, but I want to talk to you. Um, apparently you don't want to talk to me. Alright then. Tell you what, folks. I will cut the video right here. And we will go ahead and... Do something. Yes. Be the chatty clock right here. Let's overwrite that selected data. And yeah, when we come back, I swear, folks, this time we really are going to go to the desert. This is Bobo the Vulture, and I thank you very much for watching. Bye now.